Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias from the Automator. And uh, Isaias mentioned there's a new version of Auto Hockey One out. Uh, Isaias, why don't you talk about it, share your screen, let's give a quick review yeah. of what's there. So recently, a few hours ago, a new version was released. And even though it's not like a huge change, there's a few things that actually caught my eye. And uh, if you are somebody who are dealing with any of those things, then that would be a good place to take a look at. And, and basically one of the ones that actually caught my eye was, you know, the tooltip. So when the, when the tooltip is not changing, I don't know if you have noticed that some people use mouse move to show the tooltip right next to the mouse all the time. And while you're moving the mouse, if the text is the same, the tooltip kind of like flickers when it moves. Because every time you move the mouse, it actually shows up a new uh, uh, tooltip. And he's, he, yeah, he's, he just mentioned that he optimized that to reduce flicker and speed it up. So there are some changes for those kind of people. Uh, there were some fixes to certain type of bugs with hotkeys. Uh, again, hotkeys fixes all over the place. Uh, a lot of tooltip stuff, but this was the one that actually, I liked it a lot. It was like, if you're using file copy dear, it actually permits the source directory to be a zip file. So actually you can copy files from inside a zip file now, in, which is basically allowing you to extract a zip folder easily. Right. So, so this is actually something interesting. It says like, in which case its contents are extracted. So now there is a native way to go ahead and extract files from a zip folder without using to have the zip, uh, the, the shell. I don't know if you have used that before, that there was a shell object, a com object for the shell for Explorer. And you had to use that shell object to extract the files prior to using it without a hotkey. Now file copy dear allows you to do that, which is a very nice uh, addition to it. Yeah. So there's a few more uh, additions to auto hotkey. If you are, interested in, uh, if there's any of those that uh, helps you out a little bit better, then just go ahead and you uh, upgrade to the new version, which just came out now. So yeah, real quick, generally speaking, we always try to stay on the you know most recent release, right? Just to make sure that we're current with times. Um, and the other day we recorded a video on the semantic versioning stuff, right? And here's yeah. a good point is the, it's 1.1.34, Right, so we right. know because it's not version two, like it's not breaking things. Um, yes. And now this is where it's a little different, right? Of the auto hockey, the the versioning, at least this right. version one nomenclature is done. Right. So basically, the first digit in here, I think, is not meaningful at the moment. It doesn't mean anything. It's always attached to all the versions of auto hockey. That's not going to change until version two. I don't know what is going to happen in version two, but. For now, this is that guy. What I think has at least the semantic versioning is this last part here, and we are at 133.11, and this now changed to 134.0, actually. The only thing is that he's not putting the zero there. But it is 34, and it just means I added stuff to the program that doesn't break anything prior to it. So all your scripts prior to 34, should work perfectly fine unless a bug is introduced. But for now, it should be totally fine. You just upgrade to the new version. And I know that it's not going to break because of the way how he <laughs> yeah, and from, named his numbers. From talking to you, the, the fact it changed from 33 to 34 means he added new features, right? If it was, uh, once it goes from 34.00 to 34.01 or however yeah. it goes, he that fixed. means... There's not new features, right, but little bug tweaks. Fixes, right? exactly. Like, yeah. like something. Now, here's the thing. Usually when you switch a number like this, 34, you bundle everything together. Um, it's not like uh, for each feature, he's going to add a number. Some people do it right. like that. Some people don't. He doesn't do that. Yeah. He added a few things and fixed a few things, and he just moved one number. That's okay. Now, for each patch, that is something that I would understand for any time he fixes one specific problem on right. that version, then he might want to add one patch, two patches, third patch. So every time he patches and, and one patch might contain many fixes, but every time he patches the stuff, he, he kind of like signifies it. That's what I'm expecting. I cannot say that that's what he's using, 
but it is a good thing to keep in mind that even though he patches something, it doesn't, it shouldn't break existing functionality. That's what it means. Awesome. All right. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll try to stay on it. Every time there's a new release, we'll come up and talk about the changes that are implemented. So awesome. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.